ladies and gentlemen. So we are here with our moment. We are about to start, but I'm here with the two players. We just want to find out how they're feeling about this moment. They were here last Sunday, and today they are here for the finals. So can you just tell me how do you feel about going to the finals? Are you ready for that? Yeah, we are very excited for that. So I want you to start even now. Yeah. And are you sure that you're going to win the prize? Yeah, obviously we have come here to win. Our main goal is to win. But if we don't win, it's a game. But I can tell you that we have come to win. This is so this is so wonderful. We're having two teams today and uh, we're going to find out who's going to win. We're having two men and two women. I'm telling you, this game is going to be on fire. Thank you very much. So stay tuned with us for the moment. See you anytime soon. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, we are at the moment to the finals. So I'm also here again with the two other uh, winners. Uh, the winners of the first round, of course, they also they are also here for the finals. They also won last Sunday, so they're going to play against the men that you've seen any time earlier. So I'm um, with two beautiful ladies, and I hope they're going to make us proud. It is our month exactly. You have to do your best, girls. So how do you feel about the moment about going to the finals? Can you just tell me how? What are you exactly expecting? Do you think that you're going to win this game? We hope so. <laughs> Um, I'm actually feeling happy to be here because I believe it's by the grace of God and I hope we're going to play our best and hope so we'll win. Yeah, as you said, it's our month, so yeah. Okay, as we have heard, all of them they came here to win. So we're going to find out who's going to be the winner of this game. So ladies and gentlemen, again, stay tuned for the next coming moment. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome you to the Quiz Quiz Contest. Again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Can we just put our hands together for the wonderful event that Paulosa has organized? Thank you very much. So I know that most of us have been waiting for this moment for the finals, of course, today. So I'm going just to give us a small highlight about what we were doing here. Last Sunday we were here with four different teams, and today we are here with two different teams. And today we came for the finals. So today we found out who are the winners. So um, before we start, I would like to thank first the different partners that have been with us, they have supported us. Uh, I would like to thank Queen's Place, exactly present in this place. Can we please just put our hands together for Queen's Place? <laughs> and I would also like to thank Element Image, he's also right here with us. Can we put our hands together for him? Also thank ATC for the support. And also thank Fizabi for the support. We are also thanking Emerald for the support for the help. Also thank PHC for the support and the help. So those were the partners that have helped us to organize this wonderful event. The main partner. The, the idea actually came from Paraza and we all know about it. And uh, we are going to start with our moment. We're going to have two different rounds. Actually, we're going to have two different rounds. And we have our two beautiful team. I'm going to call them to come forward. Uh, we're having the first team, uh, ladies. We're having Grace and Eva from Avery Coast. Focus and can we just either switch on 
I switch off our phones or put them in silence so that we can avoid some noises. I'm going to go for the quiz master then drop to give us more uh, details about how the game will be played, how the game will be going. Thank you very much. Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. I am going to be your quiz master for the quiz quiz contest organized by Parliament Zone. There are going to be five categories in this quiz show. The first round is a general and warm-up where the questions will be very, very easy. The second round is called... The second round is guess and spell it round. The third round is going to be category choice round. Fourth one, what you have on the table, the buzzer round. And the fifth is going to be on the fire, the rapid firing round. Teams, are you ready? Okay. I'm very, very energized and enthusiastic now <coughs> to further motion with the first round, general and warm-up round. Okay, the gentleman here, DR Congo, you have 10 questions in this first category, the round one, general and warm-up session. Choose any number. Be quick, choose any number from one to, one to 10. Okay, question number five. Be ready to answer. Judges, you have to keep the track of the time. 30 seconds is what you are allocated to answer. And if the question is passed, you get another 15 seconds for the next team. The first question is, and the question number five, right? In which country is Mount Everest located? In which country is Mount Everest located? Nepal. Say it again. Nepal. The answer they said is Nepal. Do you think it's a correct answer? No. Huge round of applause. That's correct. <laughs> Ladies, choose the question from 1 to 10. And question number 5 is already taken by team A. So can you please choose your question? Which question? Seven. Question number seven. If you have a friend from Afghanistan, I'm pretty sure you're going to answer it very correctly. What is, or which is the capital city of Afghanistan? Kabul. Kabul is the correct answer. <laughs> question five is taken, question seven is taken. Choose the last remaining question. Question number three. Which country is least populated in the world? Which country is the least populated country in the world? Vatican. Say it again. Vatican. Vatican is the correct answer. <laughs> Ladies, question to you. Apart from question number five, <coughs> seven, and three, choose the, re the remaining question. Okay. Going for the last question. If you are thorough with solar system, this is a question for you. Which is the third planet in the solar system? Which is the third planet in the solar system? It's Earth. Earth, the planet that we are living, is the correct answer. Gentlemen, question number six. I think this is also one of the easiest questions I have for you. Which is the longest river in the world? The Nile River. Say it again. The Can Nile you be a little louder? The Nile River. Nile River is incorrect or correct? It's a correct answer. Ladies, <laughs> question for you. Okay, question 10 is taken, question 1. <coughs> Which is the animal referred to as the sheep of the desert? Which animal is an example of a metaphor from English literature? Which animal is referred to as the sheep of the desert? The camel. They say the camel. Do you think that's the correct answer, audience? Someone says yes, and the answer is incorrect. Correct. Correct. 
You have the remaining question number two, question number eight, question number nine, question number four. Choose your luck. Eight. Question number eight. If you come from economics background, this is a question for you. What is the currency of the country, Japan? Currency of Japan. They said yen, and the answer is correct. Give one of applause. Question to you, the remaining question are question number nine, question number four, question number two. Which question would you like to choose? Number four. Why do you always choose that one? It's my question back to you. Question number four is, which is the fastest animal on the land? Which is the fastest animal on the land? Ladies, the time. Please keep track of the time. Fastest animal on the land. Thank you. Incorrect. The question passes to the gentleman. Can we have the answer from you? Cheetah. Cheetah is the correct answer. One point. <laughs> By now, we have come to the end of the first round. We had 10 questions out of which eight questions have been already uh, answered by you, four questions by four teams. We have two questions here for the audience. The first question, audience, if you are interested to answer, kindly answer this question. Which is the nearest star to the planet Earth? Anyone? That was question number two, if you would have picked it. Anyone? Nearest star to planet Earth? You want a hint? The source of energy for the Earth? Sun is the nearest star. Sun is star. Okay? And the next is a science question. Who is associated with the famous formula of E equals to MC and sine? So with this, we have come to the first round. The judges will score up and then tell them up till later. Now, we are moving forward with guess and spell it. For this guess and spell it round, you have six words. I'm going to give the definition of the word. You are first going to guess the word. If you guess the word, you fetch it directly how many points? How many points? 20 points. And if you spell that word correctly, you get another 10 extra <coughs> points. So first, guess it. Second, answer it. Okay? So we are now moving forward to round two. Guess and spell it round. We are going to start not with you, with the ladies. Because we started the first session with you. There are six words. Choose any word. In the number one to six. Can you come again? There are number one to six. Which number would you like to choose? Six. Okay. Obviously, a question from English literature. Word opposite in meaning to another. Example. For that, you can say good. What is that word used to describe the opposite in meaning? What is the word? For example, for the word that is same, you call it synonym. What do you call the word that has a meaning different to each other? Contrary. Contrary. Contrary is not the answer I'm looking for. I'm really sorry, this is not the correct answer. The answer that I was looking for, if there's anyone from the audience. Antonium is the correct answer and the spelling is A-N-T-O-N-Y-M Antonio. Okay, team A, number three. Don't tell me this is a question of luck to you. Okay, here is the word definition for you. A system of government by the whole population or all the eligible members of state, typically to re elected representatives. A system of government, government, 
by a whole by the whole population or all the eligible members of the state, typically through elected representatives. Democracy. Say it again. Democracy. For correct, yes, it, 20 months. Democracy is correct. <laughs> Can you now spell the word democracy? D E M O C R Y. Spelling is incorrect. The spelling of democracy is D E M O C R A was what you missed. C Y. Democracy. So team B gets how many? 20 points for this round. Spell and guess it. Please check your luck now. What's your number? Number three is taken, number six is taken. Which number would you like to go for? Number? You come from the medical background? You come from the medical background? This is a question right for you. You are a lady. Question right for you. Alright? The branch of physiology and medicine which deals with the function and diseases specific to women and girls, especially those affecting the reproductive system. What is the word? Gynecology. Gynecology is correct for 20 marks. Now, for another 10 marks, spell the word gynecology. J Y N E C O L O J Y. Can you spell it again? G J or G? Be very clear. G. G, okay. G Y N E C O L O J G, sorry, G Y. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a correct answer because both of you are missing A. Okay? Even in this word, there is A. So, gynecology is spelled G. Y N A E C O L O G Y Gynecology. Okay. Next word. Number four. Number four. Something that you can see right inside this hall. Someone who deals with cinema. Sorry. Someone who deals with the photography and camera. Okay. So the question to you. The art of photography and camera work in film making, what is it called? Cinematography. Say it again. Cinematography. Cinematographer or graphy is correct. Now, spell it. C. Yes. I. M. Say it again. C. I. <laughs> I N E M A T O G R A P H Y. Correct. <laughs> the question is for you is question number one and five. Which question would you like to choose, ladies? Which question? Question five or question one? Choose your luck. Question one. Question one. Ladies are very, very technical in town. They always choose technical questions. So <laughs> Name a person who studies human history and prehistory through the excavation of sites and analysis of artifacts and other physical remains. Okay? You want me to make it a little simple? Okay. It's a kind of a profession that deals with something related to digging up of the earth to study about the history. Okay? Not only history. They also dig out the artifacts. They also dig out physical animals. Fossils, something related to fossil, something related to more hinge You have, huh? have to say the name of the, the person. Profession. The profession, yes. 
What is it called? Your 30 minutes, 30 seconds starts now. Archaeology. Archaeology. Archaeology is a study. Archaeology will take that into consideration. Archaeology is the correct answer. Can we have a good You are supposed to answer the word archaeologist. Be very careful, girls, while studying. The 30 seconds starts now. Archaeologist. Not logist, logist. A R C H E O L O G Y. Uh, sorry, I S T. Ladies, I'm really sorry again you missed out letter A. I don't know what problem you have with that. So the spelling of the word archaeologist is A-R-C-H-A-E-L-O-G-I-S-T. Archaeology. So with this, we just carry on with 20 marks for guessing it correctly. Gentlemen, <coughs> you don't have a choice because we just have six questions and the question is right to you. You don't have to choose it. Word number five. Writing and other office materials like pen, eraser, sticky notes, and tapes are called what? Writing materials, what are they called? If they are pen, pencil, eraser, sharpener, sticky tapes, what do you call that word? For example, if you go buy something else for the home, that's called grocery, what do you call a writing materials that consists of all the writing materials? Stationary is correct word. Correct guess. And can we move forward? Can we move forward with the spelling? S. Yes. T. A. T. I. O. N. E. R. Y. Should we give the points? They already started clapping. So yes, ten points. People will get confused. There is also a word called as S T A T I O N A R Y. Right? That means when the brain is stopped, stationary. Okay? But the writing materials it has E. Alright? So do you need a time to relax a bit? Yeah. <laughs> do you need a time to relax? Now we're gonna have short two minute break.